In this short video, I would like to show you how to use the demo pipelines on the platform and specifically focus on the Amplicon 16S, 18S pipeline using Data2. When you open the platform, you will see something like this. So you have to click on this drop down. Once you click on the drop down, you will be inside the demo section of the pipeline. By using this pipeline, you will understand the inputs and the outputs and some explanation about every step, much more detail about how the pipelines work and what is the type of data that they analyze can be found on the educational site, edu.t-bio.info. You can see it right here. So let's go back and we'll start this pipeline. You first click on the start button and here you can see the input files. For the input files, we will use an SVL, which is a server reference file that will show where the path to the file is on our high performance cluster. You will also see this TXT table. Now, if you open this table, you will be able to see that the table contains some information about the samples. In this case, we are going to use six different samples and some have chow, which is a regular diet and high fat diet. And these are mouse microbiome fecal samples. F here stands for fecal. Now also there's some explanation here about the context. How is the data generated, the hypervariable regions, and also the taxonomy of the different microbial communities that are going to be found in some of these samples. Once we start, we can now use the data to section that is going to perform several steps to prepare the reads, clean them up, normalize them, and then combine them into OTUs, Organizational Taxonomic Units, that will later on will reveal the taxonomy of this microbial communities that we are studying. So let's take a look. First of all, we are going to filter based on quality, and here's some introduction into the full data to bioinformatics workflow. And you can see that there are going to be uh, good quality and low quality reads, and we're going to also compare how those reads are um, comparable between uh, each sample. Now we can click on OK. We're going to make sure that we only take uh, a good, um, good pairs of reads and use only those to identify OTUs. Merge those pairs together. Prepare consensus clusters. Remove chimers. So those reads that contain, those OTUs that contain uh, combinations that are not really um, relevant. And then assign the taxonomy. Now, how do we know the taxonomy? Taxonomy actually um, is based on these hypervariable regions, is stored in a database. So we can look for the, those and identify the taxonomic breakdown of communities we see in the samples. Now, then we're going to use another package called PhiloSeq that will help us build some visualization plots. Uh, ape, PhiloSeq, and end. And now after we do end, we will have several outputs. And this demo pipeline just demonstrates what type of outputs will you actually get. So you can see here that we can look at the abundance of different types of microbial communities that we have in our sample. We can look at outputs, graphical outputs, like plots from PhiloSeq. And we can also get sequences of OTUs. Let's take a look at the PhiloSeq plots. PhiloSeq plots are divided into two main sections, the alpha diversity and the beta diversity that you can see down towards the bottom. In the alpha diversity, we can take a look at logarithmic scale of abundance and compare that abundance between samples by family, an option that you can select when you are building the pipeline when you are not using the demo pipeline. You can also look at the relationships between OTUs in terms of their taxonomy and abundance. 
calculate the alpha diversity measure using two different options, Chow and Shannon. And also look at beta diversity, where we can see the difference, whether there is a significant difference between the two groups that we are trying to analyze, high fat diet and Chow samples. To summarize, the demo pipeline is a good way to understand how a pipeline works, what type of inputs and outputs you would get from a pipeline, and get ready to consider how this analysis might be useful for your data.